This is the story of Anandi Gail Weich. Anandi Gail Weich was born on December 17, 2002 in Jacksonville, Florida. She was a high school junior and attended John Rebo High School where she was a varsity cheerleader, a volleyball player, and an active member of the student council. Anandi was also gearing up for the 2020-2021 school year Miss Rebo pageant. Anandi was an active member of her church and was well known in her community for selfless acts such as feeding the homeless, and helping and inspiring others. According to her mother, whom she was extremely close to, to know her was to love her. With a big heart and personality, Anandi was the kind of girl who would sit with students who didn't have anyone to talk to. She was an active member of the D-Extreme dance team, Jacksonville's premier versatile dance troupe and had aspirations of becoming a model as well as a pharmacist. Upon graduation, Inandi planned on attending Florida A&M University. On December 4th, 2019, Inandi was one of hundreds of holiday guests on hand for the Christmas tree lighting in Jacksonville, Florida when she happened to do an impromptu TV interview telling a local reporter that she wanted a car for Christmas. It was this interview that would spark Anandi's interest in pursuing a career in Merry television. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Well, there you have it. Folks around here know their stuff and they certainly know how to Three months later, on March 19th, Anandi was driving the new car she received as a Christmas gift. While dropping off a friend, a car pulled in front of her vehicle. Two guys then jumped out of a car and began shooting. In the 4700 block of Portsmouth Avenue. Officers, along with the fire department, arrived to find two victims. Anandi's friend, who suffered injuries but survived the shooting, and Anandi, who tragically died at the scene. Family and friends speculated that she was not the target of the incident. Anandi's mother and other relatives, along with police and city council members, held a press conference announcing the family was raising $30,000 as a reward for any information leading to the arrest of the gunman or gunmen who took her life. The group Mad Dad, along with her family and friends, went door to door where Anandi took her last breath in the Sherwood Forest neighborhood in Jacksonville's north side, urging neighbors to break the code of silence. They also canvassed the neighborhood in hopes of finding more information on the case. We ask that you move up on the hearts of those doors that we knock on that they would step up, yes. wake up, yes. speak up, yes. and tell what they know. Mad Dads began with a prayer before breaking up into groups to canvas the neighborhood, looking for the community to break their silence. That's all we need is one mouth to start talking what happened, that somebody knows. Weish's grandmother, Helen Wilson, says someone knows... Initially, the family raised more than $14,000 to find Anandi's killers and to help keep Jacksonville streets safe. Almost a year would pass 
without any arrest in the case. The Fraternal Order of Police would even donate $5,000 to help bring Anandi's killers to justice. On January 28, 2021, roughly a year after her murder, Roland Ball, 21, was charged in connection to her death. He faces a second degree murder charge along with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and shooting or throwing a deadly missile. Ball was arrested after police served a warrant in the 7400 block of Linda Drive. Ball is being held on a $2 million bond. According to the arrest report, a witness stated in an interview that he heard that Ball confessed to murdering Anandi one month after it happened. Also at the scene, they found a light from Ball's gun that also contained his fingerprints. Nearly a year after a teenage girl was gunned down, police make two arrests in her murder. Accompanied by his mother, 16-year-old Xavion Marquise Porter turned himself into police and was arrested on January 24th in connection to the crime and was charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that the shooting was apparently gang retaliation for 20-year-old Daquan Rache Saxton, who was killed days earlier, about a half mile away. Just learned this shooting was a retaliation? Yes, we've just been going through the reports here within the last 10 minutes. And what we learned is that two nights before Anandi Weish was killed, there was another murder. This is on March 17th. And this is all within blocks between each other. We're told in the report that Ball was identified as one of the people who killed her. And it was in retaliation for who she was with at the time of the shooting. It was all payback. And again, both murders happened just blocks away from one another. The arrest came three months after Anandi Weich's mother, city council members, and law enforcement called for the public's help in finding her killer and announced additional reward money. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. This was the story of Anandi Gail Weich.